Everything I say for one of my children is for all of them. Each soul is my favorite, said our Lord to the French mystic Gabrielle Bosis. If only you knew my love for each one. Can we sense God's love longing to draw us daily into their love? The state of the world today may cause us to pause and wonder. Many of us are tempted to believe we are cut off and do not belong. It does not take a great deal of imagination to see the sorrows and struggles in our world these days. The culture of death knocks loudly and often, embracing greed, warfare, violence, destruction, ways contrary to life and to God. In today's gospel, we meet Jesus in the midst of a crowd speaking life-giving words about the reign of God and healing them of their ailments. It is precisely here where the feast manifest. The disciples thought the healing work was completed and attempted to have Jesus dismiss the 5,000. Jesus then invites the seemingly impossible. Give them something to eat yourselves. Five loaves and two fishes are all we have, they respond. And while they were busy calculating, Jesus takes action. An unexpected blessing and an unexpected feast for and with love. The love of Jesus, the love of God, the love possibility between those gathered there and dare I say those gathered here in cyberspace. Many wonder if Jesus truly multiplied the loaves or if the miracle was a sharing of the goods already present with all gathered therein. In the past, I have been allured by the magic of the loaves and fishes miracle as an act out of the ordinary and astonishing. These days though, I confess, as we often sit with the cesspool of violence in local, national, and world news, I believe the greater miracle would be to trust God enough to share our goods, our fullness, or littleness, and even our weaknesses with our sisters and brothers. Then maybe we too will marvel by remembering we belong to each other. Words of Saint Mother Teresa. Today is the Feast of Corpus Christi, a celebration of Jesus' presence in the Eucharist. The Church professes our reception of the Eucharist to be the fullness of Jesus' life broken and shared with each one of us. Dorothy Day wrote, Christ is bread on our altars because bread is the staple of the world, the simplest thing in the world, something of which we eat and never get tired. If you sat and thought forever and ever, you could not think of any way for Christ to remain with us which would bring us closer to him. Why? Day states in another piece, the answer is very simple. It was because God loved us and wished to be with us. God loved us and wished, wishes to be with us. This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. We are not cut off. We belong and are part of Christ's body and are all loved intimately more than we know or can imagine. As one, we are loved. And through Jesus, we have become God's beloved daughters and sons.